science rules. <laughs> I'm on the roller coaster here at Shovelware Studios Hollywood. As we go uphill, we're building a bunch of potential energy. Oh, it's so high. What type of energy is that converted to as we start to roll down? Sure, whatever. This glossy 8x10 headshot of Bordy the Smart Board. Not only that, but it's signed by Bordy himself, one of Canada's most famous and recognizable celebrities. Known for his work portraying the iconic mascot character Bordy the Smart Board at various trade shows and other events, Bordy has been voted Tech Magazine's smartiest board alive for three consecutive years in a row. Perfect for the ultimate Bordy fan or any opportunistic internet resellers. <laughs> You're this episode's grand champion. That's a wrap for this episode. Tune in next time for more of the same. Ha, I'd like to see that from this pepper over the Google game. We want half a show as good as this. Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by the Admiral Electronic Catalog. People still buy things from product catalogs, right? It's time for another exciting episode of the world's only game show, Shovelware's Brain Game! Here's the appealing fruit himself, the Dancing Banana!
Math Zone. <laughs> Please solve this math equation. That's pretty based. Monumental landmarks. <laughs> the Leaning Tower of Pisa is one of the most famous buildings in the world, notable for its iconic and eponymous lean. How long did it take for it to be built? You've just posted cringe. <laughs> Big laundry. A novelty soda drinking hat. With this on your head, you won't have to worry about using your arms in relation to drinking your soda ever again. Until you run out of soda, well, then you'd have to use your arms to remove and replace the soda cans on the sides. Actually, if you could do that without using your arms, that'd be pretty impressive. Ooh, I want to see that now. All these normal questions have me pretty bored. You know who isn't bored but is a bored? Here with our special guest question, it's Barney the Smart Board! Which camera am I looking at again? Oh, hey! It's me, Barney! Question time! What's the name of this Scottish skirt-like garment? Memorable events. <laughs> it's a six month supply of dancing banana ice cream bars from Shovelware Foods. This delicious fruity frozen treat features two chewy gumball eyes that we absolutely guarantee aren't placed anywhere close to how they are in the picture on the box. The Confederate States of America was a group of states that seceded from the United States over a dispute primarily about wanting to maintain slavery. On April 12, 1861, those nutjobs waged a civil war against the United States of America that they ultimately lost, and 3.9 million enslaved people were freed as a result. How long did their little temper tantrum last? Not a chance! <laughs> 
artistic integrity. <laughs> I thought I heard someone say something about delicious pancakes, <gasps> and I was right! It's $50 worth of delicious brand pancake mix! Delicious brand pancake mix provides better, more delicious pancakes for you and your whole family. Sit down to a nice, wholesome meal that'll take you away to another world of deliciousness. <laughs> Primary colors. Colors you can mix together to get any other color. If you had some paints and wanted to be able to mix together nearly any color you could think of, what colors of paint would you need? Shovelware Studios. <laughs> A dancing hot dog! Hey, guy, get out of there. We're trying to do a show here. Wait, what? That's the prize? We're giving away a dancing hot dog? But that's a guy. It's just a man. An alive being. No, no, this can't be right. You there, banana nephew character? Pull that rope again. Close the curtain and open it again. There's got to be a real prize behind there. It's not even the same art style. That's a character. He should be sitting in the audience right now. Do it. Pull the rope again. Okay. Okay, now pull it open again. No, that's the, that's the same dancing hot dog again. What are you still doing here? Ben and nephew, are you in on this? Is this some kind of prank? Is this some kind of reference I'm not getting or something? Do it again. Pull the rope again. This never happens with any of our other prizes, right? You just pull it open and it's there. It's like a normal game show prize. Like some of them are funny or a little weird, but they're not a real three-dimensional person. This is just a guy. A dancing hot dog. Just pull the curtain again, and there'll definitely be a real prize behind it this time, okay? Okay. What? Is this the same dancing hot dog, but this time it's holding a rock and roll guitar? Is that what I'm seeing here? Okay, this is definitely an extended reference to something that's just going completely over my head. It has to be the entire bit transposed almost one-to-one, -one, and I am just not getting it. Right? Banana Nephew? Is that your name? The Middle Nephew? Hey, it's not nice to ignore me. You're standing right in front of the camera, middle nephew. I know you can hear me. You're not being very helpful here. <sighs> this dancing hot dog holding a rock and roll guitar. In shrunken school lobby, you come across two quiz sections. Hey, this whole game is a quiz section. <laughs> anyway, which character sets up the second one? Big Laundry
Because my pen pal from Japan helps fill in for her mother at the inn they run, she's often wearing a specific type of traditional clothing. It's also the national dress of the country. What is it? It's lit, fam. A new cardinal! The bright red color could match your new car, if you had one. It's me, Count Dracula, the famous vampire. I want to suck your blood and then pick your brain with trivia. Which actor portrayed what is widely considered to be the most iconic performance of the iconic character? Who I totally am. <laughs> Math zone. <laughs> Okay, let's say I have three dozen apples. I realize that's an absolutely absurd number of apples to have on my person and chuck two dozen out of the window of my car on the way home from Marsha's grocery store, shattering windows and causing extensive property damage. How many apples do I have left in this completely hypothetical scenario? <laughs> From Has Been Gaming, it's the Shovelware's Brain Game Home Version. This deluxe board and card game kit includes an intricately detailed recreation of the Brain Game set, a complete set of questions and their answers, six player tokens, and even your very own miniature audience. Get the whole family involved in a fun, exciting, and most importantly, edutaining game of Shovelware's Brain Game, right from the comfort of your very own living room. Congratulations! You're the winner of Shovelware's Brain Game! We'll see you all next time for another brain-tingling episode of Shovelware's Brain Game! Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by Smart Technologies. No, seriously, they paid us to make this.